Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a what's in my hospital bag edition. I'm actually booked in for a C-section tomorrow morning. So this is like the last chance to film, but it's like eight o'clock at night. and I've been so busy today, but I really, really wanted to film this for you. Let me just say, I'm really unprepared with my bags. I literally finished packing them today and I don't know how good they are. I'm probably gonna look back on this video and just cringe like everyone else does. I'm just gonna get this out of the way, but I'm packing my pillow. So this is the breastfeeding pillow. I'm unsure if I will like this. I might need the my breast friend one or something. I don't know, but I'm packing it anyway. And then I have my bag over here, which does not even do up. I have to get another bag. First thing I've got is some slippers. I have my little toiletry bag. Now in this, I have some makeup remover pad things. So my cellar water, deodorant, I have shampoo and conditioner. I will say I'm staying three nights because I'm having a C-section. Got some Swispers, makeup remover wipes, toothpaste. I still need to pack my toothbrush because it's an electric toothbrush. Um, I've got some body lotion. My skin has been so dry this pregnancy, so I will need to be wearing that. I have some cleanser, some facial cleanser. I have a razor. I have this Leto Lips 101 ointment in strawberry. This is what I wear on my lips every single night. If I don't wear it, I notice it. My lips are awful without it. Rosehip oil in a little roll-on thing for at night. Hairbrush, there's a hair tie. There's a scrunchie in there. And then I've got some little uh, cotton tips as well. I'll probably just not use even half of it. And I was planning on doing the body wash, but I'm pretty sure that they have body wash in their showers, so I'm just gonna use that. This is the part that I'm probably not gonna use. I packed some makeup because, I don't know. <laughs> I just have, all right? There's basics in there. I do actually need to pack some brushes, so I'll need to remember to do that after. I film this. Then we have a water bottle. Heaps of people recommended a water bottle to take your own. Um, and then I have like a little coin pouch that's got some money in it, just in case we need to go to a vending machine. I've got some coins in there and some notes as well. I'll still have my purse on me, but this might seem silly, but I have two chargers. So I have one that is the Apple iPhone charger. This charges my phone so quickly. And then I've got a two meter long one. So I just, I know it's silly to take two, but options, right? <laughs> Got these little <laughs> things um, that they give you at the hospital because I've already been in a couple of times for monitoring and whatever. And they just say, just keep them because we have to throw them out after every use. So got them. Stool softener, hello. <laughs> yes, this is, will definitely be needed. I have a bag for my dirty clothes. Do not forget this. I have Libra maternity pads. I do at home have some Depends and I also have some other like good night, like heavy duty ones. I have heaps of different ones. So I don't know if, if I need them, Dean can just bring them in for me. There's Coco. Okay. I have this maternity robe, which is actually from Ergo Pouch. They were so kind and sent it to me and it's nice and big, like it wraps around the whole way. So it'll be nice and comfy. And I think I'll get a lot of use out of that. The rest is just mainly like clothes. I've got two nighties. So this one I know is super, super big. If I feel like I don't want anything restricting. This one is a little bit more restricting. It does have buttons there. So I don't know when or if my milk's gonna come in, but just in case, I've got that. I've got some Lana Jane. These are my maternity tights. I have a bag with all my underwear, but I've just got like a little crop top, like a nursing one, maternity one. I have one of these as well that you can just kind of like pull over, but I have a feeling my boobs might be too big for I have some bed socks with little grippy things on the bottom. I have huge knickers. <laughs> I listened to what everyone suggested and that was like at the top of the list. Make sure you pack some big knickers. Then we have, oh, this dress. This dress is super, super comfy. It actually has buttons that undo. So I thought I could wear this during the day if I am breastfeeding and it's super loose as well. I do also have this breastfeeding top. 
So this one's just from Kmart and so was that dress actually. I just got a really loose big black t-shirt. So that is what I have packed for me. I do have some other things at home that I might get ready and I'll say to Dean, if I request them, can you just bring them in? Like I have a couple of pairs of pajamas, but like right now they look silly on me because my belly is so big, like I'm 38 weeks pregnant and they just don't fit that well. Uh, I don't know and they're like pajama sets with like the shirt with the buttons because I got them obviously for like breastfeeding in mind so they might be a more so kind of thing wear at home really quickly before I go I forgot to mention I'll be wearing thongs on my feet there and that's what I'll be wearing and leaving in because I know my feet won't fit into anything else by then <laughs> also really quickly wanted to mention I do have a little night light so hospital lighting is really not fun. This can be a motion sensor or it can just be like on and off at the bottom. When I stayed in there last time, there was only this super bright light that was available to be turned on from the bed. And this is just like a little bit more humane kind of thing. So got that one from Bunnings. Today. Now on to the baby bag. This bag is actually from Kenzie and me. Uh, she sent it to me and I'm so grateful for it because I love it. And I've probably got way too much stuff in here too. So over here, this is a swaddle that I made for baby. And I've got a matching headband that I made as well. But I do have a smaller. I made two sizes in the headband because I didn't know what size her head is going to be. But anyway, I wanted like something that I made for her for her announcement kind of photo. So hopefully that works out. I've got two different sizes. So I've got some five zeros and some four zeros. I don't know how big or small she's gonna be, um, but I've got this little one from Kmart in four zeros and then the same one in five zeros in this green color. And then I really would like to put her in this, but I think it might be too big. This one is from Big W and it's a four zeros, but it's a lot bigger than the other ones. This one is also four zeros from Kmart. This one is five zeros from Kmart. And then this one is five zeros from Target. This one's four zeros from Big W. So there's that little one. They're all of the outfits that I'm taking because I've gone for three days and as I said, don't know what's going to fit her. <laughs> a little beanie for her because they said to bring beanie, so I just got like a plain white one. I really wanted to make her a little turban out of this material, but I ran out of time. And then I have these two blankets here. This one is like that knit fabric, it's beautiful. This one I'm pretty sure was from Best and Less. This one here is from Big W. It's like one of these kind of like hospital looking ones, but my mum recommended one like this, so that's what I got. Did pack one of these terry toweling things. I don't know if I'll need it, but I don't know. Baby wipes, nappies. They did say to bring wipes and nappies on the checklist. So that's why I've done it. But I thought that they would probably provide me with them. So I don't know. And then over here, I've just got some little accessories, some socks. I've got some mittens. <laughs> There's the other one. <laughs> There's some mittens. And then like a little turban hat as well. I do have some nipple covers and I've actually got some reusable ones, but I don't think I'll take them to hospital. Um, and then I have some baby shower gel. And then I've just taken some of these hydrogel breast discs. I don't know if I'll use them. I, I just wanted to pack them just in case. I don't even know how you use them, but I've just packed them. How <laughs> unprepared I am. <laughs> and I have the Marcalin. I don't know if that's how you say it, or Marcellin. Soothing nipple care for breastfeeding mums. This is pure lanolin. A dummy. Someone suggested bring a dummy, so I brought a newborn one. I haven't sterilized or anything. I'm assuming the hospital can help me do that. Um, and then I've got some lavender oil that one of you guys actually sent me. So just lavender is very calming. So that'll be nice to just have just in case like I have a little moment or something. I don't know. And then lastly, I have this little dash mail. I haven't even told you guys about this. I plan to start like a little store for babies and I'm calling it dash mail. I actually had my own like announcement discs and like milestone discs made. This one says hello world and then I am so loved on the back and they're all like double sided type things. I can walk nine months like. Okay, so I have this gorgeous blanket which was actually a gift from one of Dean's mum's friends, Katrina, and it is, oh my God, it's beautiful. Like I can't, it's probably not even showing up. It's just got like little embroidery and then this crochet trim and um, my thought was to 
put this down and then wrap her in the swaddle. So that's my thought. And then if the swaddle doesn't suit her coloring, I am going to take this one as well. So this one is actually from you guys. I'll link this store down below because I just, I can't remember it right now. Um, but thank you so much. It's beautiful. It came with a matching robe, but I just thought that this would be nice to do. And then I could do like the pink turban on her head if I want to wrap her up in this. So options, right? Yeah, the only thing I'll add is some makeup brushes and I'm done. I'm all packed. I'm actually going to have a baby in, I don't know, maybe 12 hours. Who even knows? Um, <laughs> it's all really surreal and I'm doing this very, very last minute. Typical crystal style. Um, but yeah, that's it for what's in my bag. I guess I'll let you guys know what I used and what I didn't eventually, but wish me luck. <laughs> um, and thanks so much for watching me on this journey of pregnancy. And um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.